Today we're making a mushroom jewelry holder and trinket dish. The yarn I'll be using is Big Twist Cotton in Sage and White and Just Cotton in Dusty Rose. The yarn label recommends a 5.5mm hook, but I'll use a 4mm hook to make my stitches tighter so the stuffing doesn't come out. You'll also need a yarn needle, some scissors, and some stuffing. First, we'll start with a trinket dish base on the bottom with the green yarn, and we'll need a slip knot. To make a slip knot, place the yarn over the palm of your hand with the tail end at the bottom. Grab the top and make sure there's about 5 inches of yarn here. Then wrap it around two fingers to form an X. Insert your hook under one side of the X, then over and grab the other side and pull it through. Then remove your fingers and tighten the knot, and here's the slip knot. Now we'll chain five. To chain, yarn over and pull through. And here's our first chain. Again, yarn over and pull through. And we'll keep doing that until we have five chains. And here we have five chains. Now we're going to form a ring by slip stitching to the first chain that we made. So to slip stitch, insert your hook into the V of the first chain. And here I like to grab onto the chains with my left hand. Then yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. And you should have this little circle that we will be working into. Now let's start round one. First we'll chain two. Then we'll do 12 double crochets into the center of the ring. To do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the circle, yarn over, pull through, and now you should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. This is our first double crochet. And the chain 2 that we made does not count as a double crochet. So again, to do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the circle, yarn over, pull through, now you have 3 loops, then yarn over, pull through 2 loops, and yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Now we'll do that 10 more times into the circle, and we should have done a total of 12 double crochets. Then to close off the round, we'll slip stitch to the first stitch in the round. And again to do a slip stitch, insert your hook into the top of the first double crochet of the round. So here's the first chain we made, then the second chain, and here's the first double crochet. So insert your hook under the V of this first stitch. Yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. Then we'll pull the seam tight. And we'll do this slip stitch at the end of every round. And now we can pull on the tail in the middle of the circle to close it. Now to do round two, we'll chain two again. And we'll chain two at the beginning of every round. And then we're going to increase in every stitch of this round. And an increase just means doing two double crochets into one stitch. So first, do one double crochet into the first stitch of this round. So this is the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So yarn over, go under the V of the first stitch, and complete your double crochet. Then we'll do a second double crochet into the same stitch. Now we'll move on to the next stitch, and we'll do a double crochet under the V of this next stitch. And then we'll do a second. And we'll continue doing two double crochets into every stitch on this round. 
And once we reach the end, we'll close off the round with a slip stitch again. So here's the first chain we made, the second, then the first double crochet of the round, and we'll slip stitch to this stitch and tighten the seam. And now you should have 24 stitches. For round three, again, we'll chain two, and we're going to do an increase every second stitch of this round. So for the first stitch, the same stitch we just slip stitched into, we'll do just one double crochet. And then in the next, we'll do two double crochets. Then in the next, just one. And in the next, we'll do two. And every time we do a round with increases, the last stitch of the round should be an increase. Then again, we'll close off the round and chain two to start the next round. Now you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round four, we'll increase in every third stitch. So this round goes one double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochets, then one, one, two, and so on. Then we'll end this round on an increase, slip stitch it closed, and chain two to start the next round. Now you should have 48 stitches. For round five, we'll increase in every fourth stitch, and it goes one, 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 then two. Then we'll end on an increase and slip stitch to close the round. Now you should have 60 stitches. And now we're going to stop increasing the circle. For round six, we will be making the dish curve in slightly. So instead of every fifth stitch, we're going to increase every 10th stitch. So first let's do nine double crochets. Then we'll do an increase. And then we'll continue that pattern of nine double crochets and then an increase. Once we reach the end of the round, we won't do a slip stitch. We'll cut our yarn about five inches, then pull through with our hook. Then we'll insert our hook through the first stitch of the round from the back and pull the yarn through. Then we'll go in from the back of the last stitch of the round and out the top of the V and pull the yarn through there. Then we'll leave this end to sew in later. So that makes this top look a little nicer instead of having a knot at the top. To make the stem of the mushroom, we'll need our white yarn. And we'll do a slip knot again. Again, place the yarn over the palm of your hand, wrap the top around two fingers to form an X, Use your hook to go under one side, then over the other, pull it through, remove your fingers, and tighten the knot. And now we're going to be attaching our stem to the second round circle. First, we'll yarn over and insert our hook into the stitch in the second round. and out towards the middle. Then yarn over and make sure you're holding on to the tail end of your slip knot. Pull through and yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over, pull through two. 
and we'll continue along the circle around the outside of the second row. So just to make it clear where we're inserting our hook, we're crocheting along this line you see here. So we'll go into that line, then up and out, then finish our double crochet. And you should have 24 double crochets by the end. And remember, we'll slip stitch and chain two every round. Then for the second and third round, we'll do one double crochet into every stitch. So you should still have 24 double crochets for round one, two, and three. Then for round four, we will decrease in every third stitch. So for the first two stitches, we'll do just one double crochet each. Then in the third, we'll decrease. And to decrease, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch over, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then continue that pattern. So do one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, Then in the third, we'll do a decrease by starting a double crochet, but not pulling through the last two stitches. Then we'll start another double crochet in the next stitch. Then once we have three loops on our hook, we'll yarn over and pull through all three loops. And we'll do that all the way around, decreasing every third stitch. And after this round, you should have 18 stitches. Then for round five, we'll do one double crochet all the way around. And for round six, we'll decrease every second stitch. So the first stitch will have one double crochet, then a decrease in the next. And we'll repeat that all the way around. And you should have 12 stitches by the end of this round. Now we'll do the gills for the mushroom. For this first round of the gills, we'll be doing an increase in every stitch and working in the front loops only. So far we've been working under both loops of the V, but now we'll only go through the front loop. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook from the front and out through the top of the V and finish our double crochet. And we'll put another double crochet into that same stitch in the front loop only. Again from the front and out the top. And again, we're doing two double crochets into each stitch in the front loop only. And we should have 24 stitches at the end. Now for the next round, we'll work under both loops of the V. For the second round of the gills, we'll increase every second stitch. And we should have 36 stitches at the end. For the third round, we'll increase every third stitch. And we should have 48 stitches by the end. Now we'll do the cap of the mushroom. So after we slip stitch the last round closed, we'll switch to our pink yarn by looping it onto our hook and pulling it through the loop on our hook. Then we'll tighten the yarn and chain two. This first round of the cap will do one double crochet into the back loop of each stitch. So to go into the back loop, go in from the top and out the back grabbing only the back loop. And we'll do one double crochet into the back loop all the way around. Also at this point you can cut off the white yarn. Then from now on, we'll work under both loops. 
For the second round, we'll decrease in every third stitch. And you should end up with 36 stitches. Then for the third round, we'll do one double crochet in each stitch. And the fourth round will decrease every second stitch and end up with 24 stitches. Then for the fifth round, we'll decrease in every stitch and end with 12 stitches. Before we complete our last round, we'll put our stuffing in the mushroom. And for the sixth and final round, we'll decrease in every stitch and end up with six stitches. We'll fasten off by chaining one, cutting our yarn, pulling through with our hook, and tightening the knot. Now we'll thread this loose end into our needle and sew the top closed by going into the remaining stitches. And we'll pull our yarn down into the middle to hide it. Now we'll sew on the white spots on the cap. First we'll cut a string of white yarn about 2 feet long and we'll tie one end onto the cap. And here I'll hide the shorter end in the mushroom. Then we'll thread the yarn into the needle and pull the yarn over one stitch and out to another spot. And we'll just go all over the cap making these spots. Once you make the spots all over, we'll tie the end of the yarn to the cap and pull the rest of the loose end into the mushroom to hide it. The last step is to weave in the loose ends and we only have one that we really need to weave in. So first we'll thread this loose end into our needle and since this loose end isn't tied down, let's double knot it against the surface. Then we'll go under stitches in one direction. Then we'll turn around and go under stitches in the other direction. And we can snip off the remaining yarn. And for the other loose end, we can just pull through the middle of the mushroom to hide it. And here is my mushroom jewelry holder. You can fit rings and necklaces on the little dish on the bottom or hang your earrings on top of the mushroom. And that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Also let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all next time.